Okay, everybody. Um, just going to do a video on bedding up for the winter. This is a uh, four by three square bale of straw, and we put it on the back of this new idea manure spreader. And for the most part, that's all this spreader gets used for anymore. Uh, it's used about once, well, during the winter for bedding, and that's about it. We may. Uh, put out a load of manure in the spring with it but that's it um, went ahead and cut all the strings off and greased everything and oiled the tracks and the tire hubs and went over it um, I was going to try to get a video of it going and I might try a little bit later but she is putting out a lot of straw so I just ran back and shut the PTO off and um, as you can see, it does a really good job of chopping it up and making it really fluffy. So you don't have to. I mean, it's it's a little. There's some flakes still left, but um, maybe I should push it over or something. Try to get it to chew it up a little bit better. It works better with round bales of straw, but um, did them in square bales the last time, so. Um, that's what we're dealing with. Um, with round bales, they if you put them in right, they'll roll backwards, and it'll just it'll just unroll this way, and it'll just keep pushing it and throwing it out the back end. But this works good too. Um, and it's a lot less time consuming, and you don't have to cut a bale and leave, you know, put too much or too less. And once it's cut, it's hard to move them, so you can just. Uh, like this is just a small little section of a barn that we just have uh, three corral panels letting them into this section where it's protected and um, it doesn't need a whole bale in fact it doesn't need too much more than this so we're going to go over and take them put it in the alleyway and uh, we have a new calf in there and I'll show that to you guys too here's that newborn baby she was born on the 5th of December. It's the 8th of December. So she's really only about two and a half days old. There's her mama. She's a half her first time giving birth. So she's been doing good though. We're having some really harsh winds here. So um, just trying to keep her. Uh, we won't show that. Just trying to keep, uh, keep them warm. So we've got this are actually old viner aprons and um, got it on three sides it just keeps them warm and she's got a hay bale and then she can get feed and water through that uh, they're not headlocks but slant bar gate um, this is what the rest of the barn looks like it's got a healthy dose of wood chips and it's I mean, it's probably a foot thick just put them in and uh, we get them free and this is about the worst they've ever looked usually it's no branches like this I don't know what what happened or if they got new people um, and I bedded this up with old hay and they other cows are just looking at the calf and mucking it up but you can see the difference just the wood chips make over straw so I like to have a good layer of wood chips down then I'm going to bring the tractor through let me see if I can yeah bring the tractor through with the spreader there in the bale of straw and then put a big line right down the middle and the cows will spread it themselves and then I'll throw some straw here a little bit to them and some more in there. Little calf is mounted in the gate. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to think, do you? Oh, you're just so cute. Look at that little nose. Number 31. First, second generation calf born on the farm. Oh, your mama's giving you a bath recently. Yeah, look at all that. Look at that pretty curly hair. Good girl. Alright, another look at mama. 
Big healthy cow. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So here we are, we got a nice, good windrow. She flipped over the bale, and so I stopped, and I, I should have stopped a little sooner because it, uh, it obviously needs a little bit more right there. But we've got a good, healthy windrow, and a little bit more, so I'll pull up and back into here. And this was old, it was actually corn stalk, corn stalks from the garden they come up in grass and the grass had died so I bailed it and got like a 48 inch by 60 inch bale and that's what bedded down for the calf and the mother and there's the rest of the bale there and I might spread that out for her she's got good grass that she can eat on the other side of that gate good hay rather um, but yeah this is once it Look at that, nice and fluffy. Once it fell over right, I was able to chew it up a lot better and not flake it off like it did back there. And I'll just fork some of that into that side. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So this is spreading straw with a manure spreader. Old new idea, 36-32. So this is, it looks like I put that little bit of that extra corn stalk and grass bale in here just to sort of help clean it up because it's still circular and, and tight that it's uh, pushed all that straw out. Got a good, good, good bedding. And on the other side it's extra thick because if another one comes into calf during this weather it's going in in there but yep and this stuff is all and look at that so that's the grass and the hay that was coming out together and the garden corn stalks and stuff like that and she's just all but done it's a little bit wrapped up with grass but not not too bad it's better than string all right, have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye.